नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान पार्थाय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणन स्वयं व्यासन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैता मृतवर्षिणि भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वासंदा भगवद्गीते भवद्वेशिनी ओ भगवत गीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव इन लाइटनमेंट टू पार्थ द एंशंट सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इट इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शावर ऑफ द नेक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माय अफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ री बर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी कृष्ण वंदना वसुदेवसुत देव कंसचाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु सन ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्सट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माय सैल्यूटेशन टू a very happy new year to all the viewers and uh, we are today going to complete the 16th adhyaya daiva asura sampad vibhaga yoga and uh, uh, in this adhyaya shri krishna has uh, uh, explained to us the ways of the divinely oriented and the ways of the demonly oriented people and how we can avoid getting trapped into the demonly oriented ways how we can get uh, uh, avoid ourselves how we can rescue ourselves from getting trapped shri krishna says you just be away from these three things the kama krodha and lobha the sensual desires getting trapped by sensual desires the anger and the greed the lust anger and greed if we are away from these three things we can never get trapped into that mode of being a demonical uh, 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 tendency person and that will help us that will help us in treading the path of divinity treading the path of devotion and reach our ultimate goal of making this jivatman one with the parmatma and shri krishna says that those people again again he is uh, uh, explaining to us that uh, who do, uh, the people of the demonic tendency those who don't pay heed to the scriptural injunctions the scriptures are filled with this uh, 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 code of conduct of what should be done what should not be done and krishna says that people who don't pay in heed to those injunctions to those ordinances to those codes that are laid down in our scriptures and in not, not only paying no heed they don't pay heed to the injunctions but also that impulsive uh, 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 moment they fall prey to the fulfillment of sensual desires in the process what happens they don't attain perfection they don't attain any peace any happiness any joy also and they are far away from the ultimate goal they don't even reach that ultimate goal at all they don't even reach the path of getting on to that ultimate goal this is what shri krishna told us in the 23rd shlok that we read that yah shastra vidhi mutsrujya vartate kam karatah shastra vidhim utsrujya having thrown away the injunctions of the scriptures having thrown away the codes of conduct laid down in our scriptures those who vartate kam karatah though those who spend their time in that in with the in in that impulsive moment of enjoying their sensual pleasure those, those who act that way न सिद्धिम अवापनोति दे नेवर रीच परफेक्शन न सुखम दे डोंट गेट एनी पीस एनी ब्लीस एनी जॉय 
in happiness also and no param gatim they don't even reach the ultimate goal the supreme goal and they remain uh, get the they, they are kept rotten in that hell of being the demons being the devils now shri krishna finally says that therefore my dear friend my dear pupil my dear child you should always obey the commands of the scriptures hmm? tasmat chhatram pramanam te karya karya vyavasthito ज्ञात्व शास्त्र विधानोक्त कर्म कर्म हसी हाउ शुड वी डू अवर वर्क हाउ शुड वी बिहेव श्री कृष्ण से सिंपल जस्ट फॉलो वॉट इज रिटन इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स फॉलो द कोड्स ऑफ कॉन्डक्ट गिवन इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स डू धिस डोंट डू दिस द डूज एंड डोंट्स ऑल आर देयर इन अवर स्क्रिप्चर्स if we but follow our scripture say don't earn money by unjust way do we pay heed our scripture say that don't get tempted by those sensual objects do we pay heed no hmm? we just with him utsrujya we just throw away those injunctions we just uh, cast away those codes of conducts the codes of morality the codes of justness the code the codes of righteousness that are mentioned we don't even pay heed to the codes which have been asked not to do which will lead us on to those demonic paths so shri krishna says tasmat therefore tasmat shastram pramanam te hmm? therefore whatever is authorized by the shastras pramanam whatever is the authority given by the shastras by the uh, scriptures take that as the authority whatever is given in the shastras take that as the as your authority follow that code of conduct follow that code of morality follow that follow that code of justice follow that code of righteousness and then कार्य अकार्य वि अवस्थित एंड देन डिटर्मिन वॉट इज टू बी डन वॉट इज नॉट टू बी डन गो बाय द स्क्रिप्चर टेक दैट एज द ऑथोरिटी एंड देन यू डिसाइड वेन एवर यू आर कन्फ्यूज देन यू डिसाइड यू रेफर द स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड देन डिसाइड वॉट इज टू बी डन वॉट इज नॉट टू बी डन कार्य अकार्य वि अवस्थित देन यू डिसाइड फॉर यूर सेल्फ it is clearly narrated there in the scriptures the right way the wrong way the just way the unjust way you go through that whenever your mind is confused whenever you have a doubt you refer to the scriptures see those codes see those uh, regulations see those ordinances see those injunctions and then you decide for yourself what ought to be done what ought not to be done gnyatva shastra vidhan uktam and then having known what is said in the shastras having known uh, having understood what is written there in the scriptures then what you do karma kartum ih arhasi then you should perform those duties then you should act accordingly then you should Uh, follow the injunctions and do accordingly what the shastras have what the scriptures have indicated so in this uh, last shloka of the 16th adhyay shri krishna has clearly indicated when in confusion when in doubt what to do shri krishna says just rely on the scriptural injunction therefore let the scriptures be your authority in deciding what ought to be done what ought not to be done whenever there is confusion whenever you are in doubt whether whenever there is some kind of a, 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 a non clarity what should we do hmm? to do or not to do 
what to do what not to do whenever we have this doubt just refer to the code of conduct refer to the scriptures and then Sri Krishna says having known what is said in the scriptures hmm, Jnatva Shastra Vidhanuktam having understood what is written there in the scriptures then perform your duties accordingly Karma Kartum Ih Arhasi then you perform your duty accordingly, you will be doing the right thing then. You won't unnecessarily get into the hassles of performing something bad and repenting later. Oh, why I did it. Getting something in the moment of that impulsive behavior. I must do it, I do it and then I repent later. Why I did it. This happens in our day-to-day -day life so many times. At the moment of impulse, we just do something. And later we start beating our head, why I did this? At that moment, when before that impulse grabs us, let us, Sri Krishna says, just think what is right, what is wrong. But in fact, referring to scriptures means Sri Krishna doesn't mention that every time you go to the books and find out, okay, what is there? You ask yourself. Ask your mind, which is a treasure house of all these ordinances. Your Sat Sat Viveka Buddhi, Sat Asat Viveka Buddhi, your the, 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 the capacity to discern, that discernment, that Viveka, that tells you what is to be done, what is not to be done. That Buddhi, that intellect is constantly telling us, Baba, don't do it. It is not good. But we don't pay in heed to it. Like Sri Krishna says, people who don't pay heed to the injunctions of the scriptures. Our intellect is constantly uh, kind of controlling us. Like, like the rain of the horses. But we allow that rain to get so loose that the horses, they go berserk. And then, when these reins are not controlled properly, this intellect is not given its due. The scriptural injunctions what Sri Krishna is referring to, use your intellect, which is constantly telling you, do this, don't do this. Do we pay heed to it? No. We act in a moment of spur and then we start realizing why I did it. Shri Krishna says, don't get into that. Think logically. Should I be doing it? Should I be not doing it? Understand the repercussions. Understand the repercussions. If, the, if, if, if your mind tells you, if your intellect tells you, don't do it, don't do it. Consider that to be the scriptural injunction. And do what the intellect tells us. Do what the buddhi tells us. In fact, the God has given us such a wonderful internal faculty, that internal instrument, which remains mostly unused. We hardly use our intellect, especially in such times, in such periods of confusion, in such periods of doubts. When we, we, we get stuck, what is to be done? If we don't pay heed to intellect, it is like not paying heed to the scriptural injunctions. The purpose of scriptures is to guide man in living a perfect life on earth and to remind him repeatedly that the supreme goal which is supra mundan and which ought to be sought after earnestly. This is what scriptures tell us constantly. This is what our intellect also tells us constantly. That don't hanker after the pleasure. Don't be prayers. Be shreyas. Go after the good. Go after the salvation, go after enlightenment, go after illumination. This, that is the way of Shreyas, not the prayers. This being the case, bound as man is both to karma and to earth, whatever he does here on earth ought to get the sanction of the scriptures. And those that are divinely disposed in voluntarily do acts that are quite in tune with the teachings of the scriptures. Those who are divinely oriented, their intellect only guides them. The, the, the intellect becomes the scripture. Whatever intellect tells, do this, they will do it. 
whatever the intellect tells, don't do this, beware. That will pull you down. Suddenly, the antenna starts giving the signal, don't do it. And these divinely oriented people, they just remain away from all those obnoxious activities. So this is what happens for the divinely oriented people. But people with the asura tendencies, they don't pay any heat. They don't pay any heat to the any heat uh, to the intellect. They don't pay any heat to even the written law of conduct. And those that are divinely disposed involuntarily do acts that are quite in tune with the teachings of the scriptures. In fact, their doings and the injunctions of the scriptures are in collaboration of one another. These divinely oriented people, they are so much in tandem with the scriptural injunctions. Their intellect itself is in so much uh, uh, in, in, in tuned, synced. That is what we use the term nowadays, isn't it? Sync. The intellect is synced with the scriptural injunctions. They don't need any external guidance at all. They don't need the, 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 the code of conduct in the written form. The intellect has everything. Intellect of such divinely oriented uh, uh, rare souls for that matter. And in fact, on this particular, uh, uh, the, the following of the scriptures, someone asked uh, Sri Ramakrishna, hmm, Sir, which Shastra do you follow? Sri Ramakrishna says, Shastra, the scriptures. I don't follow any scriptures. My intellect tells me, my buddhi tells me what is to be done, what is not to be done. Of course, I mean, for, for, for uh, in incarnation for an avatar like Sri Ramakrishna, uh, the, everything is crystal clear. There is never a moment when the mind is in doubt whether to do this or not. And therefore, there is no need for any scriptures at all for the avatars, for Rama, for Krishna, for Buddha, for Mahavir, hmm? for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, for Ramakrishna. There is no need for any of these scriptures. And therefore, so confidently Sri Ramakrishna says that I follow no Shastras whatever. I plead with the deity, reciting in my heart for direction. See, that is what gives the direction. The deity who is residing in our hearts is there to guide us all along. But we don't even uh, take a note of that. Sri Ramakrishna says, I always seek the advice of the deity who is there in my heart and I act and live as I am guided by that being, by that mother who is sitting there in my heart. She keeps on guiding me. Do this, don't do this. I don't need any Shastras. I don't need any scriptures. Hmm? Therefore, I have not made any mistake in my life, Sri Krishna says. Because I am listening to the command of the one who is presiding, who is dwelling in my heart. Sri Ramakrishna says, I have, ne I have never ever made any mistake in my life. I have never taken a wrong step. What I am meant to do and to utter by the deity within would not come into conflict with the Shastras. So Sri Ramakrishna says, I get the command from the deity who is there sitting in my heart. And that command that my deity, my divine mother gives me can never get uh, come in conflict with whatever is written there in the Shastras. Because it is the deity who has ultimately given a form to that code of conduct in the scriptures. Scriptures, they, they didn't come uh, 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 as it is for that matter. Somebody told those great sages, the rishis, the seers, you put it like this, as commanded. That command had come from the Supreme. And Sri Ramakrishna says, since this deity sitting in my heart gives me the command, do this, don't do that. That command, that injunction, that ordinance given by the indweller in my heart can never come in conflict with what is written there in the scripture. So Sri Ramakrishna says, I don't follow any Shastra at all for that matter. And even without following any written scripture, he never did anything wrong because he always believed, he always depended on the directions, on the, uh, the judgment that was given by the indweller in his heart. 
and like a child of the mother sri ram krishna most obediently followed that command followed that command which came from the one who was sitting in the heart of hearts so that was sri ram krishna's uh, uh, teaching almost in the similar context of what sri krishna has uh, told here sri krishna has told here for the ordinary people like us whenever we are in doubt let us get to the scriptural injunctions let us try to listen to the inner word that we get that inner word is always cautioning us don't do this that inner word is always guiding us do this so this do this don't do this whatever that inner word is telling us that buddhi is telling us that intellect is telling us let us pay heed to it and if we start working accordingly then only then we don't need any written down codes of conducts what shri krishna has told here but that is only for the people who are divinely oriented so let us try to get on to that path of becoming divinely oriented and try to learn try to assimilate what krishna has taught us in this 16th adhyay of the daiva sura sampad vibhag yoga iti shrimad bhagavad gita su upanishad su ब्रह्म विद्यायां योगशास्त्रे श्री कृष्णार्जुन संवादे दैवासुर संपद विभाग योगो नाम शोडशो ध्यायः इन द उपनिषद ऑफ द भगवत गीता द नॉलेज ऑफ द ब्रह्मन द सुप्रीम द साइंस ऑफ योगा एंड द डायलॉग बिटवीन श्री कृष्णा एंड अर्जुना दिस इज द 16th डिस्कोर्स द 16th चैप्टर डिसिग्नेटेड एज द योगा ऑफ division between the divine and the demonical so let us all pray to lord krishna to give us the intellect to lead us towards divinity rather than the demonical ways om namo bhagavate vasudevaya shri krishna arpanamastu jai shri ram krishna jai thakur jai ma jai swa